one dead in Sheboygan County crash. Sunday night fire leaves three homeless, 30 companies ready to hire. These stories and other local stories are coming up on this edition of Community News Review. This is Community News Review, the service of WSCS-TV, news content provided by WHBL. I'm Maddie Fister, and this is Community News Review for Wednesday, February 27th, 2019. A Sheboygan man is facing felony child abuse charges after a fight that broke out at a home on Bluff Avenue in Sheboygan early Sunday morning. 46-year-old Jose Rangel is facing five felony charges after police were called to the home to break up a fight over an alleged affair. Court documents say that as Rangel was strangling his wife on the bed, their 16-year-old son entered their bedroom to break up the two. The teen says Rangel chased him up the stairs, tried to choke him, and put him in a headlock when he tried to call the police. Their 11-year-old was able to call for help while trying to convince the father to stop choking his brother and hitting his mom. Rangel is facing more than 30 years in prison if he is found guilty. The Sheboygan County Sheriff's Department has identified the person who died in a rollover crash near Oosburg early Monday morning. Captain Corey Norlander says 35-year-old Corey Seeley of Sockville was driving to the vehicle that lost control on Foster Road, hit a pole, went into the ditch, and rolled over and hit a tree. Seeley was pronounced dead at the scene. Three people are houseless after a fire broke out at their home on Water Street in the city of Sheboygan Sunday night. A press release from the fire department states the 911 call about the blaze came in around 10.30. When crews arrived, dispatch reported that the caller was trapped on a second floor balcony and needed to be rescued. They were able to successfully rescue the person who was taken to the hospital to be treated for smoke inhalation. There was substantial fire damage to the second floor apartment. An investigation by the Sheboygan County investigation team is still underway. The Red Cross is assisting the residents that were dispatched. More than two dozen employers in the Sheboygan County area are participating in the third annual job fair in Random Lake today from 1230 to 5 p.m. at Five Pillars Banquet Hall. Last year, over 150 job seekers attended this event, and hiring positions range from entry-level manufacturing to skilled trades and professional positions. Several companies will be providing on-the-spot interviews to job candidates. Over 30 companies at the job fair will include, but are not limited to, Kohler Company, Sargento, Master Galleries Foods, Bemis Manufacturing Company, Old Wisconsin Sausage, Satori, Creer Foods Incorporation, Dutchland Plastics, Spartec, Nemshoff, and Millpore Sigma. The job fair is a collaboration between the Sheboygan County Economic Development Corporation, Sheboygan County Job Center, and Random Lake Area Chamber of Commerce, the Sheboygan Economic Development Corporation, and Sheboygan County Chamber of Commerce have established an in initiative titled Someplace Better, focusing on showcasing the wide range of job and career opportunities available in the community. Republican leaders say expanding Medicaid eligibility in Wisconsin is a non-starter. Governor Tony Evers is set to include Medicaid expansion through the state's Badger Care program in the state budget announced on February 28th. He proposes accepting federal funding to allow those who make up to 1.33% of the federal poverty level in the program. 
Assembly Speaker Robbins says the Senate Majority Leader Scott Fitzgerald has been clear about their opposition. Hopefully he will move on, realizing that this is an idea that is just not going to happen. It's just a waste of time, Vaz said. Vaz says while accepting federal money to expand Badger Care will mean one-time budget savings. It's a bad deal in the long term, especially because it will lead to socialized medicine, he said. There is no possible way it is going to be good for the economy. Voss added that expanding Badger Care makes private insurance more expensive in the state for individuals and companies. The Legislative Fiscal Bureau estimates that 76,000 more people will be eligible for Medicaid health care if the program is fully expanded in Wisconsin. A separate study released last week by the Conser Conservative Wisconsin Institute for Law and Liberty Claims expansion will eventually cost taxpayers $600 million per year. And finally, Governor Tony Evers will use his state budget to propose a nonpartisan process to drawing legislative district maps. Maps drawn by Republicans who controlled the legislature during the last census are subject of ongoing legal challenges. Evers' proposed proposal is modeled Iowa's system, which put a special state commission in charge of redistricting after a legal challenge in the 1970s. Evers' plan would have maps prepared at the Nonpartisan Legislative Reference Bureau, and Democrats in Wisconsin have argued that their party won more votes in the 2018 elections, yet Republicans still control both houses of legislature. They claim that their supporters are packed into a few districts around the state. The GOP says the most liberal parts of the state are likely to have Democratic-friendly voting districts, while Republican candidates are favored in most other districts. And that is our report for today. Join me again on Friday for more local news and information on Community News Review. News content for this program provided by WHBL in cooperation with WSCS-TV.